Hi everyone. So I am going to do my right stuff unboxings. Um, again, I have quite a lot this time. I've gotten almost all of my orders. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll just jump right into it. It is a doozy. So I am definitely going to do. Oops, I am definitely going to do two parts because it is so much. Yeah, I, I I really just want to separate it. So this. I believe is my beloved Kingdom Hearts, maybe? I don't know. I ordered so much, I don't even know what box can possibly have what. Oh my god, okay, so this precious, oh man, but I'm a little disappointed because it is damaged. Alright, so this is the Final Fantasy Remake Ultimania. It is damaged though, it is completely bent. Right here. Everything else seems to be pretty okay. These scratches are on, it is on the cover actually. So, looks like they cut it with the razor a little bit. <sighs> I really should have just gotten this in the bookstore. But I thought, I don't know, I'll just get it from right stuff, but no, I believe that might have been a mistake because it is extremely damaged. Or for me, anyways. It, again, I am a perfectionist though, and little things like this really bother me, so it's probably just me, but. <laughs> you know what? I might order from Barnes and Nobles and just have a second copy. <laughs> I'll see what I do. Anyways. Here is my Ultimania, and it is perfect. Well, no, I just, clearly it's not perfect, but I mean, it is beautiful. Look how that cover, well, you can't even see because of the shine, I suppose, but look-see, it is kind of gradient. It's pretty great. Cloud looks amazing on the cover. So, oh, all right, this back paper comes right off. I'm going to put it inside, actually, so just put you there for now. Uh, look at this. Look, look, it's so pretty. Oh. And this was uh, uh, Nomura san's sketch that he did for the release, I believe. I believe if, I believe he released this sketch right on the release day of the game, if I remember correctly. But yeah, uh, it's so okay. This is the second Ultimania I own now because I have. The Kingdom Hearts one. Oh, this is the Midgar Blue, supposedly by its composer. <gasps> the official art. And as you know, oh my god, look how pretty he is. Oh, beautiful, beautiful cloud. And obviously, it's going to have all the character files and all that, the custom design stuff from the... I think it might have stuff of the original concept that they had planned like I mean as far back as the original Final Fantasy 7 as well as all of the new weapons and all of that new monsters new materia all of that stuff voice actors and everything it is beautiful yes 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 so finally oh I'm gonna put this inside um yeah finally it's here yay so this is that now I shall open. This one opens a little oddly. It opens up like a book. That's very interesting. I'm trying to see, <laughs> navigate how I open this. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it definitely opens up like a book. Let's see. Very strange box here. Very. <gasps> Oh my god, oh my god, honestly, I did not remember ordering this. <sighs> wow, okay, okay, let me just. So here it is. It is the complete box set of Blackbird. It is all volumes 1 through 18. And I just look at this art, it is so beautiful. <laughs> I am so happy I got it. Now, of course, nothing can ever beat the Pandora Hearts box set. That was 
the most beautiful box set any uh, publisher has ever created. But I saw this and I was like, oh my god, I should, right? Because see, I never got to actually finish this story though. I um, read when I was younger. I wasn't, when I was younger, so I wasn't collecting manga as I can or am now. And so I was just going to Barnes and Nobles, reading them there, or I would read whatever volumes were available at my library. And I never got to finish it though. And I saw this was on sale in the past box set sale that they'd had. And I jumped on it. I got it, especially since this one contained the exclusive memorial illustration book. Um, and I was just, basically an art book. And I was just, okay, I have to. <laughs> I want to collect more box sets because I was—I have really, really been eyeing that Tokyo Ghoul box set, but I've been hesitating only because Sensei said he really disliked how he drew these in the first few volumes, <laughs> and I remember quite explicitly he said that she looks too much like a pig. <laughs> it just made me laugh so hard. So he redrew. I'm pretty sure you've seen it. That he's redrawn the first few volumes and i've kind of been hoping this would license those re re-edited redone volumes i don't know if they have up to this point to be honest but i'm kind of hoping they do and so i'm waiting for those last versions even though the box set looks so so good oh my god it looks so good similar to the very similar to this because this is this too but I, again, I'm hesitating because I, I want to know if they're going to release those uh, redone versions. Because I want, I obviously want his redone versions. You know, he's edited stuff, he's added a few things, I believe, you know, and I really, really want to see that in my collection. So, <sighs> anyways, sorry I went off on a tangent there. But my point was, I started to collect, I decided to collect this box set just because I was like, I don't want the individual volumes. This art. I mean, well, yeah, the art on this box set is absolutely amazing. I love these demon guys. <laughs> and I wanted the illustration art book. So, yeah. I finally have it absolutely complete. And I don't know where I'm going to put it. <laughs> I have my Pandora Hearts one just in my closet. Not gathering dust because I protected it. But, yeah. Oh, man. I, I'm, I think I'm getting a little bit out of control. But I am so happy for this. But, you know, I kind of feel like it's a little small for it. All 18 volumes in here. I don't know. I feel like it should have been more. <laughs> or are they are they a little bit omnibus or something? I don't know. But, yeah. Here is finally the complete set of Blackbird. Okay. Now I'm going to do this one. I believe... Oh, it is. It is. Okay, look. The Kingdom Hearts... Um, box set um how do i open this i so here we are finally so this beauty is absolutely protected i am not gonna open it though because <sighs> i have no plans on reading this anytime soon i'm just gonna show you so this is the complete novel collector set it literally has the keyblade on it look Look, oh my god, it's so, so beautiful. In the back, that beautiful key blade. On this side, are these, is that a shadow? It is a shadow, isn't it? No, no, it's not. It's just, and then here, the beautiful box. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to open this. <laughs> Definitely not gonna open this. So ingenious, that's perfect. Oh, it's so damn heavy though, it is so damn heavy. Whew, if that ever falls on my head, I'm dead. Like it's just cracking my skull right open. It is heavy. But yes, yeah, so that beauty arrived. And finally, the last box that I'm gonna do in this video, because I don't want it to be too long. I'm definitely cutting this in two unboxings because I have about three more huge boxes to unpack. I'm just going to do this last one, and then I'll do the other one. So, alrighty, here we go. What is in this one? Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Okay, I see so many that I love. So, these are all kind of all split up, apparently. Because I know I completed that finally, but it's it's definitely in another box. So, um, let me just... Let me just get together over here. Uh, let me take them all out. I'll just start from here. I have gotten this absolutely adorable story, The Fox and the Little Tanuki. Um, it's basically about Senzo, who is an evil fox spirit who meets and is in charge of, charged with, this little tanuki. Um, it is an adorable story. Oh my god. Look at this beautiful art. And it's just the journey that he goes through in learning, um, I guess, not really what love is, is, but just what family and what bonds are. And it's just an absolutely adorable story. I couldn't resist it because it was, I think it was sort of, uh, for free on Amazon. And I kind of just got it just randomly because, again, it was free. And I was like, oh, I'll just give it a try. It looks really, really cute. And yeah, I do not regret getting it. I, in fact, regretted not getting the paperback sooner. So I jumped on it when it went on sale. It was a Tokyo Pop sale. And now I have them. I believe volume two is either... Oh, no, it's right here. I thought it was out of stock. I'm waiting on volume four. No, wait, I have one? I'm confused. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, I'm waiting on volume five. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting on volume five now. So... This is volume one. So cute. Volume two. Ooh, and they changed it. It this is um look, look, look. Let me show you. So see how this paper is a little bit kind of see-through right there to the next page? Well in this one, not only is it wider, do you see that? It's much high quality. Can you tell the difference? I don't know if you can on the camera, but I can tell the difference. See? So, volume 2 is much higher quality than the first volume. Oh, this isn't color into it. Okay, but it's much high, uh, higher quality than the first volume. And it's actually pretty great. I love it. Okay, so, volume 2. Volume 3 is back to the old style. Why is volume 2 the only one that's higher quality? What the heck? Well, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, uh, volume 3. No color insert in this one. And finally, volume four. It is an ongoing series. I hope it doesn't go for too long. But honestly, I'd say check it out. It is such an adorable story. It is kind of tragic. Um, let me cry a little. <laughs> but yeah, it's so cute. I couldn't resist getting it. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to see how it ends because... I, at this point, I just want Senzo to be happy. <laughs> I want him to be free and be able to use his powers at will. You know, I want him to be free of his confinement. Because the beads on his neck, much like Inuyasha, um, form a sort of binding contract with the Tanuki and also bind his powers and inflict punishment when he steps out of line. <laughs> so, yeah but it is so cute i honestly think it's just a must-have for any uh collector to have on their shelf it is just too adorable to pass up so that is this one so this one's going to be just randomly here it is midnight secretary i had not gotten these before and i am hoping that i did not miss out on getting the rest of them um because this is actually one of the best jose out there i feel it is very smutty, but it is a beautiful story centered on the secretary who meets this uh, um, very promiscuous vampire. And just, yeah, they just slowly fall in love and it's really, really cute. Um, well, I say cute, but you know, it's just, it's a great story. And I read it a long time ago and I hadn't gotten it just because... I was like, I'll get it later, I'll get it later. And I kept pushing it back. And I just, uh, with the recent Viz sale, I was just like, no, I can't wait any longer. I have to get it. And thankfully, they're not out of print. They're just out of stock. 
And I'm hoping that the last volume I'm expecting... Actually, no, there's a few volumes that I'm, I'm waiting on. Uh, some of the others are split up in those other boxes that I'm going to do in the next video. But, um, yeah, I just... I really, really... I'm happy to finally have it in my collection. I really need it in my collection. <laughs> so, I don't know if you guys heard. Now, it, the cut is a little bit weird on top of that. Anyways... I'll show you right now. So I don't know if you heard, but I cannot read you. Volume 3 had a misprint. There was a whole other manga. I believe it was. In this one. And then you see how this is like completely cut out? What the hell is that? Completely out of the book. It doesn't look that uneven here. Or maybe it does a little bit. Maybe. But look how it sticks out. It's really bothering me right now. But in any case... Yeah, it was, there was a huge misprint, um, and I don't remember what pages they said this was in. Well, just flipping through it really quickly, it seems it might be okay. I hope it honestly stays that way. I definitely have to sit down and read it uh, all in one go. Now I finally have all three volumes with me. Um, I have to sit down and read it and see, hopefully it doesn't have that error. If it does, well... I'm going to have to go buy another one. And then I have my Love Mix Up Volume 3 by Viz. And I'm oh, sorry, I don't know why I said it that way. <laughs> so I believe this is still ongoing too. Um, it's really cute. I believe they're making also a live action or an anime. I forget what it is, but they're doing like a, an adaptation for it. So that's exciting. Okay, and I'm gonna wait for that. Yes, yeah, so volume four of Cherry Magic. I it's, it's finally complete. Oh, actually, I won't spoil it. It's finally complete. So I am excited to finally see that story. I and I really, really hope that we get um, a chance to see the limited edition version because I saw that well i saw the, the the japanese version at kinukuniya and it had a special art book on it and then i'm sorry no not an art book i had a booklet i had an extra booklet you know how sometimes they release like a donjinshi type of booklet with the the whole volume well i have that so i'm hoping for the english version they release it all in one volume or include it as a special limited edition version like how they did with yarachin and how they did with uh I forgot what it's called, but it's a, another uh, um, shoujo slash jose um, manga that he did. But they released a special booklet, booklet with it, and I'm just hoping they do that. Anyways, volume four. And then this one, it is so pure. So I have volumes one through five of A Man and His Cat. It is so, it is so heartbreaking, to be honest. It... It's, it makes me feel squish and and it brings so many tears. It's just about this elderly man who's trying to come to terms with his life currently. Trying to settle after the passing of his wife. Very much up, to be honest. Lots of tears. And um, just to stop from being so lonely he adopts a cat and it's this ugly little cat that no one wants this fat cat and he's just like well i'll take him home with me because you know i find him cute he's the cutest cat i've ever seen and it's just him and his little marshmallow ball again oh my god and then he apparently he's gonna adopt another one i can't wait to read it i can't it's so cute though uh, yeah, it's it's good. It's gonna make you cry. It is so emotional. It is so cute. Oh, I can't Okay, and this one I actually ordered the complete set um, It was all individual though, and I <sighs> I really hope I didn't mess myself up I really hope they don't make an exclusive box set later on because I'm gonna want it And then I'm gonna cry because I won't be able to get it because I already have this and I don't want to have multiples of like all my manga anyways <laughs> So I, right here in this box it was volumes four through no four Four, eight, nine, and eleven. Sorry, I can count. And I don't know what it's about. I just saw it, and I really liked the art of it when I was just looking at the covers and kind of looking at the 
sneak peeks. I imagine it's very much like oh, how to ride or you know one of those other ones. Hada Kimi, just very short. You know. See, my dog doesn't like it when there's knocking noises. Daddy, come here. My dog doesn't like when there's knocking noises. I'm sorry. Anyways, and so that's that. Then I got <gasps> yes. Okay, heaven. Officials Blessing Novels 1 and 2. And uh, the quality of this is just absolutely amazing. They did... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Now, they did do a flap cover-ish. Uh, it's not a complete flap, uh, flap, uh, flap cover, but it is beautiful. And this version of ours has color illustr I mean not color sorry it has illustrations very much more a light novel because the original is just a novel there are no illustrations in the original so yeah we got super lucky to have this and the cool thing is that they've added uh, a glossary for those who aren't accustomed or have not read the I'm going to say original fan translation of it, you know, because um, those of us who are fans have kind of gotten used to the terms, but you don't need to worry if you hadn't read it before, you will be um, given the translations in the back of the book, so if you ever need to reference them, they are in the back. Um, it is a great love story. There is no smut in this though. It is not explicit, but it is the greatest love story of all time. <laughs> it is BL, but it is the greatest love story of all time. I definitely suggest uh, for you to collect this and have it in your collection. It is a Danmei, which is a Chinese novel again. Um, yeah, it, I can't even, I can't even say enough how amazing a story this is yeah um you just collect it i can't i can't say it enough the english version is going to have eight volumes and the original chinese version is only five so they split it up quite a bit um but it's a lot so i don't blame them <laughs> and then i got by the same author however this was actually the first book that she wrote or the first series that she, series yeah, I guess series that she wrote. First book, whatever. It is The Scum Villain Self-Saving System. Right, this one I have not read. Because even though she read it, she said she liked it, but not as much as she liked uh, Heaven Officials and uh, MDZS, which is um, The Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation. Um, so I bought it anyways, though, because I'm a support. And I will definitely read it. I might like it. I don't know. You know, everyone has their different tastes. So I might like this one just as much as I like the other ones. But, yeah. Same style of double flappish <laughs> uh, cover. And the only one I don't have now. The one I didn't, I decided not to get immediately was the Grandmaster of Mountain Cultivation. Because there is in fact a type of mistranslation in it including a several um redacted paragraphs i don't know why they removed them i suppose in the grand scheme of things in translation things get lost in translation all the time right but in translation they decided to omit several paragraphs that i felt were important and if you haven't read the originals, you're not even going to notice. You're going to see it fine. You're going to see it as it should be, I suppose. But knowing what was redacted, omitted, I should say, well, knowing what was omitted and the meaning that it held behind it, I decided to wait to see if they're going to republish it um, with those added paragraphs. Because Seven Seas did say they were going to correct the issue. So I'm kind of waiting on that to get... The Grandmaster. Um, I'll check back to see if they if they're even gonna do it because if they're not gonna do it, I'm just gonna buy them, whatever. But that is why I don't have the grammatic 
the Grand Master of Demonic Cultivation because I'm waiting for seven C's to fix the mistake that they made. Um, again, they got completely new translators. Um, the translator, I believe, for the scum villain is different from the original fan translation, as is the translator translation for the Grand Master of Demonic Cultivation. Sorry. So the scum villain self-saving system has a different pub, uh, translator. Demand the Grand Master of Demonic Cultivation has a different translator from the fan original. Now the uh, Heaven Official's Blessing is in fact still the original fan translation, just not professionally edited. So that's why I believe that one is coming out fine. I don't know if they found any errors in the scum villain, but I know for a fact that they found some important things taken out of the Grandmaster, which again is why I'm waiting. So that is that. And after that, now then, yay. Okay, first I'll do this one because it's another novel. I have Solo Leveling Volume 4. Now this is going to be Jeju Island. As you see, it has an ant there. I don't know where it's going to end. Let me see. Okay, yeah, so that's that. Um, um, so this is going to end right when Jin Woo decides to form his own guild. I don't know how many volumes they're going to make it then. Because in the original Korean version, it's only two volumes. But it's 200 and something chapters. I mean, I'm in it for the long run anyways. And I'm supporting it. So regardless of how long it is, I'm getting it. Anyways, then I have Restart After Coming Back Home. This is the second volume of Restart After Growing Up, I believe. Right? I believe that was the name of it. Um, but yeah, this is the second volume of that. So cute. <laughs> happy home, happy life. So that is that. And then this one that I'm so happy about. It is I've Become an Omega Today, which is um, one of Yen Press's, finally, if you ask me, newest Yaoi acquisitions and publications, releases, whatever you want to call it. It's been a long time, I feel, since Yen Press really had a good Yaoi uh, release. They haven't... The only yaoi that I ever had from Yen Press, aside from, oh yeah, no actually, the only yaoi that I had gotten from Yen Press were the first ones that they did a long time ago when they first uh, started really becoming a publisher, I think. I don't know, I feel like they were really starting when I got those. But it was Tale of the Waning Moon, and I think it was like two or three titles, The Bridegroom or The Groom Bride or something by Lily, um, Lily, oh my god, I forgot her name. Lily something, oh my god, I forgot her name. But anyways, uh, yeah, those were the only yaoi that they had. So, yeah, I'm happy they finally did this one. <laughs> and I hope they continue, please continue, get us more yaoi. But here it is, finally. It is here, and it's the Omegaverse. I love Omegaverse, so I am so freaking thrilled to have this. And that is finally it. That is finally all that I got. Oh my god, it is a lot. Well, I say finally. This is just what I have in this box. And these, it was three boxes. No, more? Four? It was four freaking boxes, and I still have a, four more to go. So... Yeah, I will do a separate video for that. So for now, though, I'm going to end it here. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll do the other ones later. And I might even have to do it the next day because, or do it tomorrow, actually, because this went on for very long and I'm tired. <laughs> In any case, thank you all so much for watching, for sticking around. Stay safe out there and I'll see you next time. Bye.